Hello everyone, this is Fogwall and welcome to How to Make a Tank Game Part 1. This is going to be just an introduction video and I hope you really like it. So without any waste of time, let's start. So guys, if you look, we are in the Unity here. Now this is the default layout of the Unity. Now if you look here, it's a hard menu there. It's for all the game name of the game object here you can parent and child them here and if you select any game object it's going to see that it properties of the specter here okay and if in closing window you can see all the materials assets everything in scripts here and this is a scene where we can edit the our game and here one more tab is game where you can play a game and access store for browsing assets and a council tab down here to get some messages from the unity or for debugging things okay and up here is some tools and above there is menu bar where you can add anything okay now okay first thing i'm going to the file and build settings okay so what here so we're going to create a game for android so I'm going to switch the platform to Android. Okay, there are a bunch of settings here, but we leave all there as a default. Maybe your compression method is default, but okay. But from it but it doesn't matter. Okay, so just leave all the things as this and just going to be click switch platform. Okay, it takes some time to do it. Just wait for some. Okay, now our scene is converted into Android for Android projects. Just close this window and open up your browser. Use Chrome browser here. Now, if it open, just search for any assets. Okay, and just click on it. It's very all these two browser assets for free, and you get two days free both, and some also all your UI. So here, just search. search for tank, you're going to get a tank game. Just tank. Okay, you will get three types of tank. Tank from Reddit and tank from no. for is I'm going to select this one. It will contain more tanks, my tanks here. Okay, now just click download. I already downloaded this package. You can also donate and support them on a bit. They are very awesome. Very awesome. So after downloading, so we go to we go to place open the Unity and then put, then we need to put this asset. So just what you need to do, just put that place there you download it and then just drag and drop this. Drag and drop. Just take some time. Now imported here, so open that one, you can have many things, mainly default size or you can get bigger one. Okay, that's one. Now last thing we need a, a joystick for for making game and for we need something to control the player. So we mostly use joystick. Now I'm going to search for here joystick. Okay, there you go. Okay, I misspelled it doesn't matter. You can choose any joystick but we use joystick pack. This is really awesome and really easy to import and set up here. And it's contained many UI designs, 3 to 4, okay. And look very simple. So just import all of them. Import. And make sure you import the package cur correctly. So if, if you don't do this, it may be cause an error. Okay, after importing then this thing, just search here for standard asset because standard, standard asset are very, very important assets. Okay, when you get your game as a and if you are beginners, they are very important. They also can use joystick pack, but I don't like the joystick of them. But I'm adding this thing because they have buttons like you can add the suit button, get buttons okay, for Android device, and these buttons work very well then the buttons that provided here okay. we just you need to add each contain more scripts of buttons okay. so just add this script to the buttons 
this work very fine. We have some poor this is a very bigger package, it takes some time. Download and put it. Now the one problem with this stand is it is gravity limit. Now there is a one problem with this standard acid is that every acid is connected to each other. Now if it doesn't import any, just if it doesn't import anything left is just give your uh, ear acid, then you import this packet again. So just this uh, and check the sample acid and and then you just import the standard acid completely. Don't import the sample scenes if you don't need it and just go only the standard acids. And make sure you just check all this thing because everything is connected to each other and every time when I upload the main thing so this gives the ears that these things are not available. Just import the all of the packet expecting sample assets and now just in click import. Profile is finally imported and just go back now so it give you a bunch of messages here just clear and you will get this one here here and if you try to play this it say fix all the years you just go to the standard assets utility and just delete the simple menu I don't know what the problem is with that script but by deleting the script all things will be fine Then just clear this and, and and now all the box, all the warnings are gone. Just going to re slice this in, slice the asset so nicely and all done. Now, after you importing, then just see well, well, you get a one more menu here well, between the component window is mobile. Just click enable. Here automatically enable but just click enable by default if not it just click enable so this will enable it the mobile inputs for your game and now if you go to the now we go to canvas store png and now see that in here oh yeah a bunch of spares of the tanks you can drop anything just you drag the hard window or drag the scene now that hard window and it's automatically add the two component transform and sprite render component okay you can use the position change the position of the x y and z for the depth but it does not going to work because we are working in 2d so you mainly x and y we used in 2d games and if you work in 3d z will also come up now for rotation we can add you can just rotate on the x axis but it doesn't going to rotate it's going to rotate but give a weird thing. You can, you can rotate on Z axis. In 2D we call, we call on Z axis. Especially to top down. And you can increase the scale the, of the frame object. Yeah. And if you look, we have uh, some sprite. It has a tank green spine. You can also change the color. It does not change the color. Yeah, you can change white okay. and draw mode. Main thing that here just to play. All you guys are just increase the order in here. Okay, just increase the order by one. And all that. And in our next video, I'm we going to give this thing a very simple basis moment. You can which by using joystick you can just move, rotate on the map. Okay. So that's it for this video and. That's just and thanks for watching guys.